hello what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Emmanuel today's video will be a short one on the color chooser and I could have done this with alongside my next video that is a lot of confirmation dialogues but I don't want to make that one lengthy so, so before we take a step into the tutorial or before we step into the tutorial make sure you smash the like button click the subscribe button and pop the notification bell now let's get into the video welcome back guys just like the father logs first thing we'll do is we we'll import the color chooser color chooser okay and let's come here let's get under button for that control shift d and using the color chooser is easy to use just as easy as using your normal father logs so we're just gonna create another function here we'll see color launcher so then we'll create the function here right. so this was the code we used in our last video if the reason i'm doing it in this same file is because it's the same this color chooser is also a standard dialog okay in, in thinking tab so you just can just ignore this and this but of course if you'll be watching this video you should be know about all what is here already so without wasting time we're just gonna call this color launcher and then we're gonna come here and say color now we're gonna say color chooser not color launcher color chooser dot axe color it's as simple as that just go axe color on it and then it works well after we do that we're gonna print color so we have the control b now we, let me oh let me change this well we know it's the second button anyway no need to change it i'm gonna expand this and drag it here so if i click on the second one now i see the color chooser you can choose whatever color you want change color use custom colors you can add this week as a custom color if you want i click in here that's as a custom color it replaces this and that is how it works and now if i press ok if I cancel this print is gonna return none. So I have to press OK to make sure it returns the value as you can see. But if I came here, choose a choose the color and just canceled to return none none. Okay, so you need to press OK for it to return the value. And then it returns the RGB and then the X code. So anyone you want to use, you can use anyone you wish to use. Now it also takes a bunch of other arguments. You can add the title for example. This so I'm gonna do title equals to choose choose a color my friends and just that and then maybe a smile so you control b now if i click on this you see that's the title choose a color my friends or my friend whatever you want to put there so that is how that you can add the title you can also add what you call initial color so i call the initial color so initial color means the color let's imagine okay we're gonna do that let's imagine a color we want to change the color of something an object and the object had the color before so if you pass this initial color this initial color that is going to show at first when you launch it for example if i put fff i think that is white so if i do control b and i click on launch so it definitely puts it at white this is white okay and that's because i put as my initial color so your initial color you see it here and then you can just adjust it but if you don't put an initial color it's just going to show any color to you okay now what we do here is inst instead of printing the color is when we change the color we want to change the background of our root window so we're going to do root dot configure you can use configure and it will say bg equals to let's call it color so we're going to be using the s code which is the second value that's color one so i'm going to do control b if i launch and then um let's just choose this because anyway keep it okay and the background color changes i didn't even plan on do, do, doing this but i thought it would make sense to do it so now this initial color is not going to be this what we can do is we're going to make this color the background our background color of this root so we'll just do root the easiest way to do it is just call root like this and pass in the bg the same thing we passed in here so we're going to do control b hopefully that works so do control b now if i click on this and i press ok the background changes the background changes and now if i click on this now it shows me this if i change it it does how it works that's it guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it then you should give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out my next set of content much love guys peace out